Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and in all honesty, welcome back to me. It's been a while, probably around six months and yes, you guys deserve an explanation, but that's not what this video is about. As you know, my channel is all about taking care of yourself and my journey to self-love. And we are gonna dive right into that here in the month of March. Now, as I'm recording this, it is March 1st and I am gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I plan to do this month to get myself back on track. Because if you know my journey, um, and you might be able to see, I have not been doing the best work here in the last year, which I know I'm not the only one, and I was honestly debating and wanting to get back on here, and all it took was the sweetest comment last week from somebody just checking in and seeing how I'm doing. And then I remembered that what honestly kept me motivated and inspired was sharing my journey with you guys. So yes, I'm back. I'm hoping to stay and cannot wait to share stuff with you guys. Now today we're gonna go over what I'm doing for the month of March to get back on track. Now the first thing that I knew I was gonna do was adding in some exercise. They do say that the more you move, the more you can change your mood and my mood and energy levels hasn't been the best. So I was all for that and I actually took to Instagram to have you guys help me decide what I was gonna do and I will be doing the Mad Fit workout on YouTube. So I will link her info below. And what I'm doing is that this schedule that she released back in January, I'm just using it for March. So if you wanna tag along, feel free to do so. The next thing I'm going to be doing is drinking 110 ounces of water per day. Yes, you heard me, 110. I know it sounds like a lot. It is half of my body weight in ounces. If you're measuring by pounds, sorry, I know it gets complicated. What I'm trying to tell you is I currently weighed in this morning at 220.4. Yes, I'm open and honest with you guys because I want you to know that even though I failed, we're gonna use those struggles to help encourage us next time. I have my handy dandy 30 ounce water bottle and I plan to drink four of these per day. Now I used to just drink three because of the weight I was at and so I'd always try to drink one before lunch, one before dinner, and then one before I go to bed. Now we're just gonna make sure that in the morning, before noon, I drink two of them, especially because I'm doing intermittent fasting and it's really important to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna be doing intermittent fasting where I only eat between the hours of noon and 8 p.m. And primarily my lunch will actually be a Kelly Levesque smoothie, which is a fully balanced smoothie that is super healthy for you and will keep you full for an extended amount of time. Now these smoothies are something that I have been drinking recently and they really help me from snacking and staying on track and focused. And when I eat something healthy as the first thing, I tend to do better throughout the day. And then I will just be eating dinner along with the family. However, I am just focusing on lower carbs and always making sure that I have a vegetable. So I'm not keto, I'm not, I'm just doing my own thing. Um, but I have found that when I have carbs, I have a lot more cravings and so I'm really wanting to cut back on those. Now normally I would also wanna add in a few other things just to keep me on track, but I think that it's a good start for now to really ensure that I get good habits set focus on myself and we'll take it from there. I do also wanna find a moment every day to do something kind for myself, whether it is a bath, going for a walk. I just wanna make sure that I am doing something for myself every day. Now a quote that is guiding me through this month is, what would you do? Sorry, I always mix it up. What are you doing today to get yourself to where you wanna be tomorrow? So yes. What are you doing today to get yourself to where you want to be tomorrow? And I think that's so impactful because so often I at least think, oh, I'm just gonna you know, binge today, I'll eat whatever I want, tomorrow's a new fresh start. But really what you do today is gonna affect the way you wake up tomorrow. If I eat healthy today and I stay hydrated and I take care of myself, then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up more energized. And that's really the focus that I need to have to know that every action has a reaction. And so I can't just go, oh, today I'm just gonna eat whatever and binge and then tomorrow I can be good. I really wanna make this a lifestyle change. And yes, there's gonna be moments where I may not drink the smoothie I'm supposed to. And if my daughter wants to share a treat with me, I'm not gonna turn her down. And so it's really important to find your balance in this 
and I will be doing my best this month and cannot wait to share this journey with you guys. It's so weird to be recording this again, but I'm so excited. Now in year 2020, I think we all took on new hobbies. So I'm sure you guys will see some of those on here. We've done a lot of DIY projects at home and I actually am looking forward to sharing some of them with you guys, hopefully. Now, if you are new to the channel, or you just want to follow along, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I am hoping, and will, no, I will, post a new video every week for you guys to follow along on whatever I have going on in Sarah's journey.